What makes Lambic beers special is that uh, they're absurd. Uh, they are a style of beer that's clearly developed over many centuries and uh, the methods of production are very traditional but uh, if you were starting to make a beer right now you wouldn't start by making it the Lambic way because it's so complex. Somebody can say to you, I'm a cider drinker or I'm a wine drinker, you'll find a Lambic for them. Um, somebody who says to you they're a beer drinker, you will find something for them. I'm always getting a bit nostalgic when I'm tasting Lambic, it's maybe because I'm Belgian, but um, I think you can really taste the heritage a little bit, to taste the culture, really taste the maturation and what the breads can do. <laughs> At a time when Lambic was almost dying, um, most of the beer that people had tasted the same, it tasted all of the same. And by the 90s, people were starting to wake up to beer with flavor. And if there's one thing Lambic has, it's a lot of flavor. Uh, when I have a, a client in the shop that would like to try something different, something unique, I say try Lindemann's, try uh, Taste of Belgian. Uh, this kind of beer, you have to be prepared to receive a, a different experience. And there's a very valuable thing that Lambics bring to food matching, and that's the acidity that wine very often brings. There are actual similarities uh, in the character of it, uh, in, the, in the way it feels in your mouth, in, in the, 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 the delicate tannins you get sometimes, uh, like from a red wine, uh, and the sparkle and the spritz that you get from a, from a good sparkling white wine. So, uh, I think it performs admirably against wine and we should be kind of elevating it and respecting it in the same way. Pour faire de bonnes gueuses, des bonnes crites, des bonnes bières aux fruits, ça nous prend une base qui est tout le temps la même. Et c'est ce qui est très difficile à faire entre autres chez les jeunes brasseurs, c'est qu'ils manquent euh, d'expérience pour faire tout le temps la même base pour ensuite de ça faire des blends qui correspondent à différents produits. When you're playing the cube is cube the final result is always the same. You just uh, let all the colors of the six uh, surfaces be the same. But there are so many ways to achieve the same result. So that's the art of blending. You really have to know the trick. And if we can say that cognac is the king of the spirit, we can say that maybe Lembic is the king of fear in that sense. Ce que j'aime, c'est pas seulement la bière, mais tout ce qui est autour de l'ambic, les gens de l'ambic. Et, et, et moi, on appelait euh, le prince du Payotenland, était Stephen Darcy qui m'a donné ce nom. Et moi, je suis très orgueilleux, je ne gagne pas d'argent en soi, mais pour moi, c'est la chose la plus importante. Que je vais mourir dans la tombe, on ne met pas le grand connaisseur de bière, mais on met euh, le prince du Payotenland. C'est vrai, hein, c'est vrai. That lovely mix of old and new, very much like you do at Lindemann's by joining up with McKellar and doing things like Spontan Basil, doing your Blossom beer, but also respecting your heritage with Cuvée Rene and things like that. I think that's really an important part of not only the history but also the future of Lambic. Mm -hmm.